Now, before we begin, I just want to start by acknowledging the fact that yes, my t-shirt does have zero from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas on it. And yes, this shirt is from Disneyland. And yes, this shirt is a child's extra large. Eh? Skinny legend. I'm a skinny legend. Hi besties, welcome to Forehead, the show about my life where absolutely nothing happens. Like ever. No! So I'm still alive. Surprise, surprise. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> So it's been over two weeks since I uploaded my last video. So I just knew today I needed to get up here, I need to talk to my besties, make a video, start editing, get back into the rhythm of weekly videos. You can't get rid of me, bitch. But anyway, today I wanted to give something for the besties. You know, the real besties. The besties out there who will watch any video I put out there, who comment on all the videos I put out there, who like all the videos I put out there, because they are the besties. Besties! There's nothing wrong with my views or beliefs because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true. But the ones who just want to hear me talk, this one's for you. Uh. So I want to start this week's vlog by mentioning the 5,000 kilogram elephant in the room. Did you know that this time last month I had 300 subscribers? 300. Like I'd watch one of my videos get 100 views and I'd be like, wow, like... This is fame. Like, this is what Mr. Beast must feel like every day of his life. Like, I'd go to the grocery store and I'd be like, oh my God, I hope nobody notices me. Eh. Now there are over 5,000 besties who've decided to subscribe, to join the faux club. Y'all are icons, you're legends, you're the moment. You know, 5,000 people who want to hang out with me every week, even though I haven't been making weekly videos. I'm sorry, I'll get to it, I promise. Well, I what, was reason. Reason. what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? That's a lot of people. Like, that's five big public high schools. Like, dude, that's a lot of people. And don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful about it. Like, the fact that my influencer video did really well, I kind of knew it was going to do well because I rewatched it recently and I was like, do you know what? This one's it. This is it. This is poppin'. This one is poppin'. Just a little bit. And I think it took about two months before it, like, blew up. And now it's almost at 100k views, which is just nuts. We did it. We did it, Joe. So, you know, having all these new subscribers, let's put a little bit of pressure into making sure that I make good quality content for you guys. You know, I feel like I used to just upload anything and just like hope that people watch it. But now that I know that people do want to watch my videos, I'm like, oh, let's give them something to watch. Let's give them something to talk about. So I want to talk about a topic that's been really annoying me for the past few weeks. It's the title of the video, as you probably noticed. My pants don't fit me anymore. So I was just putting on some clothes today that were comfy and I put on my favorite pair of pants ever. Let me show you these pants. You've definitely seen me wear them before, but these like stripy things, you know, these pants are great. Love these pants, they're super comfy. I've had them for years now. I've had them long before lockdown. I used to wear them all the time before lockdown. I wear them to work, I wear them out to dinners, I wear them out, like out, out. I took them all across America when I traveled overseas at the start of 2020. Like, like these are truly the sisterhood of the traveling pants, man. These pants have been with me through thick and thin. I'm sure you have a pair of pants just like that. Everyone does, that perfect pair of pants that looks great on you, fits really well. You can kind of dress it up and down. You can wear it with anything to whatever you're doing, like the perfect pant. Until recently. So these pants barely fit me anymore. They do fit around my waist, but if I'm being completely honest with you, I have unbuttoned the top button right now as we're filming this video, which is why I'm trying to keep myself seated for as long as possible. Cause every time I get up, I have to put my button back on. I won't lie to you. I have unbuttoned the button because I do need to breathe. Like I haven't gained that much weight in lockdown, but I've also gained a lot of weight in lockdown, if that makes sense. Before lockdown, I was going to the gym four or five times a week, really fit. I was probably at the peak of my fitness levels, like right before the first lockdown in 2020. I was starting to get things back into shape at the end of last year when we came out of our first lockdown and I was able to go to the gym again and do my classes, all that sort of stuff. But I haven't gone to the gym in about six months now. And you know, that's fine. <laughs> it would be fine if I had kind of substituted going to the gym with something else that kind of balanced the way I'm living my life right now. You know, if I was going for daily runs or if I was like exercising sizing outdoors, or if I just wasn't eating as horribly as I am right now, get off my back. We're in a global panoramic. I don't care what I'm eating. I'm not counting calories. Neither should you. Who's counting calories in lockdown? Like, girl. I said what I said. I have bigger problems to deal with than my weight right now. That said, even though it's not my biggest problem, it is still a problem. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. 
But like, you know, yeah, whatever. I've gained a little bit of weight. I'm getting a bit older. Like, it's not that big a deal. I don't really care. But anyway, I was feeling a bit down about it. And then I thought, you know what? Like, this is an opportunity. So I kind of have two things I can do right now. Either A, I just accept the fact that I've gained a little bit of weight and start buying some new clothes that fit me better, right? That makes sense. Things that I'm more comfortable to wear. Or I make quite a lot of lifestyle changes now so that by the time we get into the summer and we're free from this, hopefully, lockdown, I'll be able to wear my favorite clothes because they fit me again. And here's the thing. I don't want to spend money on new clothes because I think, you know, as a society, we're already spending way too much money on clothes. We all have way too much clothes. You know, the overconsumption is getting to the point where we need to really stop. So I don't want to buy new clothes. But I also don't want to do anything differently to what I'm doing right now because shit's tough in lockdown, okay? I have no motivation to go exercise. Absolutely none. None. I will say that I feel like I have experienced at least some growth in that I'm not as worried about the fact that I have gained a little bit of weight. Whatever, it happens to everyone. <laughs> like, I guess I could just start running a little bit more often again, but you know, vocalizing all this is just making me realize I've got a lot of first world problems that I don't really have to worry about that much. So it's fine. It sucks when your favorite pair of pants don't fit you as well as they used to. What are we gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. Am I gonna change my life at all? Absolutely not. Am I gonna start exercising more? Absolutely not. Am I gonna start making more of an effort to control what I'm eating? Absolutely not. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? It is what it is. But I think we have an understanding among society where we just don't judge people for gaining weight during lockdown. Like it doesn't count. You have to give me at least six months after lockdown to get back into shape and then you can start criticizing me for not getting off my ass to do anything. Even then, let me just gain some weight. Like, who cares? Whatever, I'm getting a bit annoyed about it now. <laughs> so, you know, as I mentioned, I've been really busy. I haven't had any time to film anything over the past few weeks, mainly because the videos that I want to make, like these commentary videos about like influencer lifestyles or like hustle culture and all that sort of stuff, they take time. Like it takes a lot of work to like either do some research into some topics or find an interesting take or like, you know, write my argument in a way that adds something new to the conversation. It isn't just like rehashing what every other YouTuber is talking about. So I'm trying to make sure what I say is unique. But since I'm giving myself a little bit more freedom to just do like these weekly vlogs where I just chat about life and like what's going on in the world, I feel like I have more of an opportunity to just like make videos more regularly. I'm doing my best to make sure that that happens. I'm doing my best to like draw that line between work and life and YouTube so that I can make more YouTube videos without interfering in my work and home life. But it's so hard to be millennial these days. Like you're expected to have a normal life, to work, to have a family life, to have a social life, and of course have like your little side hustles that are trying to get you even to the same playing field as the people who are 20 or 30 years above you. They've been able to build wealth at a level that we are able to build. And because house prices are so expensive, you need to have at least three to five jobs to even be able to bring together a deposit. It's a nightmare, it's such a nightmare. And I hate old people for it. I'm sorry there I said it. I hate old people. I'm joking if you're old. I don't hate you, but you know, you did fuck it all up for the rest of us. Yeah, anyway, thank you so much if you have recently subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate having all these new people come in. I've loved reading the comments in my videos. They're just so sweet and so interesting to get people's different ideas and their viewpoints, especially on that influencer video. I think there's been a lot of different views expressed in the comments there. So it's been really nice to just hear other people's perspective and understand their kind of opinion from a different lens. It's just, I think that's what I love the most about YouTube is like, it's a collection of different people who are just able to share their ideas and like build communities and share perspectives on different things. It's just really been nice. I will say though, I've been really bad at responding to comments lately. Not because I don't want to respond to the comments. Like I definitely read most of the comments, but I'm just getting it to a point with all kinds of social interactions that are digital. You know, whether it's like messages on Instagram, Facebook or text messages, even some emails. Like I just, I really have trouble responding. I don't know what it is. I think it's just being stuck in lockdown for so long and not being able to have like face-to-face -face interactions. It's making me kind of like always desensitize. Like the person I'm responding to isn't real. So excuse my tardiness there. I will respond to every comment. I do have the capacity to do so. Like I'm not getting any mean comments, which is really great. So I'm like, it's fine. Like I'm happy to respond to all the comments, but yeah, you know, if I don't respond straight away, like please don't be offended just cause I have some issues up here. Eh? Yeah, 5,000 subscribers, so wild. I will definitely make a video kind of celebrating that. I don't know what it will be just yet. I'm thinking about doing a video where I cut my own hair because I'm in lockdown and I really need a haircut, but 
you know, we'll see. <laughs> that one might be a bit embarrassing. I don't know, would people watch me cut my own hair? Like you wouldn't watch it to get any ideas or to get inspiration on how to cut your own hair. It would just be, let's watch this man make a fool of himself on the internet. So, you know, who doesn't love that? So if you made it this far into the video, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. Really appreciate your support. It means so much to me that people actually do wanna A, watch my videos, B, watch the whole of the video and C, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I think if you have made it this far into the video, you may as well give the video a like because why not? You've made it this far. At the very least, I deserve that free button that you click under the video that says like. It costs you absolutely nothing and it gives me absolutely everything. If you have something to say about this video or lockdown in general, don't forget to leave a comment. I do love reading your comments. They do really give me some joy. You know, I don't really have anything going on in my life right now. So when someone leaves me a comment from like Utah in America, I'm just like, you know what? Bestie spill. Like, this is great. I love this shit for myself. Like, it's just so nice to get random messages from people all around the world. So if you haven't left a comment before, leave me a comment on something about yourself and where you're watching from. I love knowing where my subscribers are actually located. And I just love that YouTube is like connecting us all together. Like, it's so great. So thank you for that. If you haven't already, hit the bell notification. That basically just tells you every time I upload a video. And it's so important because guess what? YouTube gives you a stat to tell you how many people have actually hit that button. And mine's below average. So let's get it up there. Uh, what else do I need to say? If you haven't liked the video, make sure you like it. Hit the bell notification. Leave me a comment about where you're watching from. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are almost at 6,000 subscribers. Be part of the folk club. We are growing so quickly. This community is skyrocketing. I think that's everything I wanted to say today. So until next time, besties, bye.